When I was first doing this case study, I thought that the impact of how many people would get pregnant would be pretty modest. I was looking to build confidence for patients, maybe a small bump in outcomes, but I wasn't expecting something earth shattering. What I wanted is to give patients education so that they didn't feel so in the dark because fertility is so complicated and most people assume that only doctors and medications can move the needle. And I was kind of in that same assumption, but I wanted to do research to see if there's anything else that could help. We decided to run the case study to see if there's anything that a patient could do to increase their IVF success. Over the course of that year, there were 54 women that we monitored. About half of them chose to work with me through the program and the other half decided not to work with me. It was all up to the patient who decided to work with me and who did it. The program started one month before their embryo transfer and it carried them all the way through that positive pregnancy test and into that first ultrasound. And there was absolutely no magic diet. It was practical support, how to eat, when to eat, what to add in, what to take away, how to adjust when life got in the way. And we walked with them every step of the way with daily support. I noticed about halfway through the program a lot of the clients were getting pregnant, but I didn't realize statistically how much until the end of the year analysis. I was so busy answering messages, troubleshooting grocery lists, walking th women through the stress of injections. But as the months passed, the pattern became impossible to ignore. One by one, the women in the program started calling me in after their ultrasounds. Their voices were shaking with tears and joy that they saw the heartbeat. When we tallied the results at the end of the year, even I had to reread and recheck the numbers twice. 96% of the women who did coaching were able to get pregnant. And the group without it, around half of the women were able to get pregnant, which is around the average rate for pregnancy for frozen embryo transfer worldwide. This case study showed a huge difference in patient readiness preparing for IVF. Ever since I published this study, I started to go viral. I've partnered with over 60 plus clinics at this point. I've seen thousands of IVF protocols, and I've worked with 200 plus women one-on-one, -on -one, and the success hasn't gone down. We are still offering that same program today, and we've opened it up to consumers rather than just partnering with IVF clinics. And if you're interested in participating in this next case study, continuing to monitor pregnancy results, click the link provided, and you can schedule a free strategy call with an advisor to see if you're a candidate for the next case study.